Well, hey guys, and welcome to another Barney Family Scottish tour, guys. And here we are in Nairn, just off the back of our, our previous vlog from Brody Castle, then on up here, guys, you know. And um, this is a place I haven't actually visited. I'm, I still don't think I've ever been here. You know, Nairn's on the way to Inverness, and our, our sort of west and our north coast here, you know. And then you tend to just drive through it. But uh, you know, just having a look around and thinking about what I might show you guys and stuff, I thought, okay, this is really well worth it. It's been really well worth popping in. And guys, I will show you where we're at, just very shortly, once we get this uh, intro done. And um, hopefully, as you can see, the, the uh, harbour's at low tide at the moment. But basically, what you're seeing behind us, guys, is what we call the Murray Firth. And uh, you'll see uh, over my shoulder there, the east coast, east coast of Scotland heading up right up to its northernmost point, you know. So I'll give you a bit of a look at that as well, guys. But listen, for now, I just hope you really enjoy this video, guys. We'll start off here and finish off at the harbour for those of you that like boats and stuff like that. I just hope you enjoy. Right, guys, so let's get our bearings first, eh? Now, if you head off east down the coast, another, what, 20 minutes, half an hour, you're back to our hometown in Elgin. And if you head off that way, you head down to Inverness on the west, you know? And that is the sort of northern, that's like the top part of Scotland, guys, the east coast heading up. Now, you might just see today, you might just see today the oil rig way, way, way out. I'll try and maybe catch a photo of it. But just in there, guys, that's where all the sort of oil rigs head in for maintenance or whatnot. Big tanker there as well, a cargo ship, I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, to be honest. But basically guys, you know, when we turn around to this part here, this is the Murray Firth, then you're in the North Sea. And that's where the North Sea oil fields are. It's where the, you know, our fishing grounds are as well. And basically sort of straight in front of us guys is Scandinavia. You know, you're across the Norway and, and what, you know, you know. But for today guys, we're in Nairn and sorry, it's a little windy out here in the point. But uh, I just want to come and give you a, a look around. We're obviously low tide at the moment. Is that a fish down there? That fish right there, you see that? That right in the end of my finger, is that a fish? That is, you know. Man, that's when you take your fishing rod, you guys. But yeah, it's low tide at the moment, as you can see. And, uh, you know, the beach itself is kind of really exposed at the moment. All the birdies are in. But look at this, we've even got a ladder we can head on down, guys. Look at this. It's pretty snappy down there, though, I think. Yeah, let me just stop. I don't really have the foot there for that. Yeah, it does get, it gets really, really shallow, but it also comes up probably about as far as this, the, you know, the waves obviously bounce off that part there. But uh, yeah, guys, it's beautiful, look at this. The barnacles and stuff. Now, of course, David and Emily would have a field day with their uh, crab nets and stuff, guys, getting some crab from here, that would be pretty cool. Well, maybe you have to find out from some local knowledge, guys, um, you know, what's the best place to fish. Doing a lot more fishing videos now, so it's really cool. So we certainly hope you're enjoying that. Yes, yeah, so let's head on, guys. Have a little look. Obviously, with the boats coming out of the harbour down here, guys, I don't think they could handle a, a trawler. I'm not sure. Maybe they could. It's certainly not a sizable trawler. Yeah, but that bit's great for crabs. I think we'll get David and Emily down here, guys. Here, see if we can't catch anything. Some flat fish, anyway. There's always there's always flounder here. You can always find flatfish. But yeah, the sun's just kind of dipped away, guys. Hopefully it'll come out when we're in the harbour. And that'll give us a beautiful view, but it's just kind of dulled down a wee bit, so... Sorry about that, guys. I'm a bit tight for time, so I can't wait. Yeah, never been here, guys. I don't think I've ever, ever been here. Just driving through it. I can see the caravan park, though. I've been down in there before. Towed my, I think it was towed my, my caravan for a family member to have a wee holiday, if I can remember rightly. But look at that, guys. You can see how far the tide's out at the moment. I mean, that must be pretty far out. It looks like it's going out. You know, just from the wet patches there on the beach, looks like it anyway. I actually should have an app on my phone for tide times, actually, so... Maybe we should look at it. What have we got here? A forest from the sand. Look beyond the gold sands, a Culdon forest which searches for 9k. Now, we've done the Culdon one, guys. And Findhorn Bay before. A way back the way, so... I'm sure you'd really enjoy that. Look at that, guys. 
I was at the herring fishing before the war, but a couple of years at Culbin after it. Cool. Yeah, I mean, up in up in this area, guys, loads of these villages were parked with you know herring boats, you know, and later on, you know, um, prom boats and white fish boats. But of course, the fishing industry has changed a lot in the past. Oh, I don't know, thirty or forty years, really, really different. Not a lot of boats compared to what they used to be, you know. It's just the way it's been. But guys, it basically looks like, you know, up there goes the river. Away it goes. Then you get to turn into the harbour up here somewhere. So we'll just head on down this side first. Just have a wee look and see what we're doing. Yeah, it'll be a nice wee place to have a have a holiday, guys. Look, those static caravans as we call them. So you are more sort of permanent, but you know, temporary permanent ones, you know, as opposed to the tourers like that one there, like we have. Yeah, what a place to stop, eh? You could get your old motorhome. Why not? It looks like that section's off over there for boats. I wonder if these guys have got any space for boats just now. I don't know. Well, I think we'll do this head on down to the. The jetties there, guys, as well. While we look around, the harbour's low. It's definitely very low. Yeah, you must come in over there, guys. I think there's a break over there. By the looks of things. I love it. And you see these all the time, guys. I mean, look at these uh, the crab creels there. Getting lobster and stuff like that, you know. Just awesome. A lot of pleasure boats, though. There's not a lot of working boats, look. There's a couple working boats there. The rest look as though they're just pleasure boats. A little bit further down, you've got a few more. Boy, I couldn't ask for a better day today guys you know I was just explaining earlier about the coast that are heading up there guys the sun is right on it which is good for us for our long distance sort of filming you know but we'll hope to get the we'll hope to get the sun back out again for down here get a right good look around the boats and stuff there's obviously a slipway right there That'll be no problem for our Land Rover to get up and down. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, easy peasy, guys. Could reverse the boat down in there, easy. But I wonder if we can get it on low tide. Let's have a look. Sorry, this is me off doing a... That's not really personal stuff now, because uh, you know, the boat's going to feature quite a bit in future videos, guys, you know, so... Just trying to remember all these places. And I'm just wondering, can you... Could launch it easily at high tide, crying out loud. But what about low tide? Oh, look. No, no, you can't. It's got, they've actually got a drop off here, look. I'll have to remember that drop off there, guys. Look, it doesn't just sort of go down straight into the water at all. So you have to at least wait until it's part way up, wouldn't you? My goodness, I mean, once the tide's fully in, it'd be a piece of cake. And for those of you who maybe not seen these things before, guys, these uh, jetties, or pontoons, I think they maybe call them, they can go up and down with the tide. See, so the guys can sort of tie up their boats, and the boats will just go up and down, you know, as the tide goes in and out and stuff, you know. It's all anchored down, but it's on floats and uh, pulley systems and stuff like that, you know. Very cool. Yeah, but I can see why some people park up here and have a wee sleep in their motorhomes, eh? Wake up to that in the mornings. Yeah, obviously up, up in this part, I can see all those tyres. That's probably for guys that are um, sorting out the bottom of their boats, you know? I don't think you could ever really park your boat up in there, eh? Moor your boat, park your boat, whatever it is. And there's the fire blade over there, guys. Our mode of transport for our vlogs. And I couldn't ask for a better view today. Look at that. So yeah, oil rig. 
I'm going to say they're a big tonker or it's a could well be a tonker coming in for some maintenance but they I'm going to call the call Cromarty Firth I'm sure it's the Cromarty Firth they call it it's deep enough for the big boats yeah generally with these places guys you get a wee bit frowned up by some people sometimes when you're heading down you know you don't have a boat or you're not a member so oh they can only just tell us to get off eh so I'll quickly look down I mean, definitely a whole pleasure boat old old one no, it's about, well, no, our boat's a bit bigger than that one, actually. Yeah, it's a bit bigger. Bigger engine. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's, it's a lot bigger than that one, actually. It's more your sort of traditional speedboat sort of thing. What kind of engine's he got? A 90? I suppose that's good enough for that thing, eh? Yeah, but these are the lads we love. Look at this. Our wee lads. And there's his creels. He's not inside there, is he? No. And obviously, guys, these guys just go in and out on a daily basis, uh, pick up their pick up their crab pots, rebate them, and throw them back out again. That's basically what they do. What is that? It's a three fifty or something, isn't it? Can't see. I bet this thing shifts, eh, guys? Again, little lady Peggy. Look, he's the same. He's got his creelies there, and you'll see his. Uh, I think it's called the block, isn't it? So they call it. It's the same thing as the. Deadliest catch, guys, just a little bit smaller. But check it out, guys. Eh? Oh man, I'd have life. Eh, bounce around and that weight of waves, I'll tell you, all year round. Yes, yeah, so and let's head on away to the next one, guys. Look, it's got a few of these, uh, I suppose, sail boats. I'm pretty sure most of these boats have got inboards, you know, as well as outboards. Oh, that's quite a sizable one for a family, isn't it? We've got again it's another wee one. That's a very neat little boat though for fishing. That's what our main thing is for. We're going to be using the boat for guys is the old uh, fishing on Loch Ness and anywhere else we can launch it really, I suppose. And hopefully with that, guys, we'll create some great videos for you to enjoy. Yeah, it takes a wee while to build up your stock. Let me tell you. Does not get filmed overnight. There was a few boats out here today. Generally, with harbours, guys, you know these spaces are taken up like hotcakes. You know they're sometimes quite rare to get a spot. You know, especially if you're new to boating, you can have your name on for quite a long time. Ah, look, so we're not allowed down this bit. It's fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. And look at that big, look at that one with the yellow roof. What on earth is that? We're going to have to check that out. There we go guys, another Tron boat for us, Luke. Very simple, very, very simple. You know, that's what the guys need. It's a crab boat, sorry guys, I've got prawns in the head just now, I don't know why. Naughty lady. That's a good, <laughs> that's quite a good play on words, that one, isn't it? Sun Odyssey. Probably well, I've done this bit there. Access to pontoon for boat users only. Okay, so that was the only one I think that was left open. Either that, or I just broke the rules and walked through it anyway. For sale. The lady Jenny, is it the lady Jenny? Jacqueline Rose, Windchat, all these names are awesome, look. Again, guys, we're just down at the, the little boats now, down this end. I wonder if there are any spaces down here, guys. There's a prawn boat, guys, look, INS 62. I've seen that boat before, I think, at Berghead. Now that is what you call a tiny boat, guys. Look at that thing. It's 
full of water as well. Here she isn't a duck thing out for quite some time. And look at that, you always see them, look at the day anglers. Look what are one, two, three, four, five boats in, you see the day angler? They're awesome. I really like them. One day guys, one day. I hope you're enjoying this guys, if you love the sort of seaside and harbours and boats as much as I do, you know. Thoroughly enjoy it. Sea Moon Eleanor from Vita. Very nice. We don't even know where to start with sailing. Sharon used to do sailing right enough, my wife Sharon, so, you know. Maybe I'll be short of a boat one day for a video, eh? If she's, oh, certainly if she knows what she's doing. Yes, a very nice guys. Oh, of course, a lot of these guys have solar panels now, you know, just to keep their batteries. We've actually got a solar panel on our boat. I think, I think that's a little wind generator, look at that. Yeah, aerogen. That's a good idea, isn't it? And look at this. You guys for sale as well, look at this. Chalier. A wooden hull. Maybe the man's upgraded. Very nice indeed. Cyrus. You lovely wee boats. Must be so enjoyable sailing. I've never never done it in my life. Must be really enjoyable. Oh, look, there's one of that. You see the, the farm going there? He doesn't seem to be in any window over there, that one. That one's fairly going. Look at him. Yeah, we've got a little solar panel on our boat, guys, so that seems to keep it right. Yeah, look, access to pond feed for boat users only. Sorry, guys. Never saw it. And again, guys, this is tied right out. And you can see the line where it comes up, so that's not straight. It's quite sizable, isn't it, when you think about it? It's like 10 feet. No, the pontoon we went doing was fine, like, there's no, no restrictions for that. I couldn't see why. So I think, guys, we will go down just for one more little look to finish up this vlog, eh, and then back up to the bike. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, but the INS 10 over there, and there's another one down there, they're prawn boats. You can see that. A lot of prawns out in the bay there, guys. Enough to support quite a few boats, actually, that do it on a daily basis. Lady Peggy. INS is Inverness, guys. So look, you've got one, two, three, four, I think, from Inverness parked up here and we'll go get there one day too. Yeah, look at this. I wonder if they go for the mackerel. The mackerel season's just passed actually. I wonder if they go for mackerel as well. They think so, eh? It's some machine. I'm not sure what you call these. Is that a rib? When they've got a solid sort of hull that blew up sides. I think that's what it is, a rib. A big bad engine as well. Yes, yeah, so for those of you who don't know, guys, you can just see here pretty much the crabs that are climbing through these holes. As you'll see, there's some little tunnels that go in, and when they drop down, they can't get back out again. And uh, oh, the guys obviously make a living out, guys. Yes, yeah, so there we go again. Look at another solar panel. Let's keep the 12 volt battery or 24 volt or whatever it is. 
there's a big 90, look at that, that would push that boat along at a wee, a wee rate of knots, I could say. Yeah, but it's going to be our boat next, guys, we, you know, we really need to get ourselves sorted out. And uh, really looking forward to getting it kind of moving, you know, so doing a bit of work on it. I think next year will be a big time for it, you know. She gets some amazing vlogs out of it. And there's a the police, I wonder what they've been called down to down here. I know they just have a nose around. There we go, guys. And back up over we go. Yes, yeah, so we'll head on back up to the bike, guys. It's a straight shoot back home. And generally, guys, I try to do like two or three vlogs, you know, and tours when I'm out. You know, just to be sort of efficient with my time and, uh, you know, fuel and stuff like that, you know. So, time to go back for supper. And I've got a hunkering for fish now, or shrimp or something, I don't know. Hopefully, some sort of seafood something. But yeah. So, listen, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I always really appreciate it, you know, if you take the time to watch these videos. And uh, again, it's just a hope that you really enjoy. You hope you feel a sort of part of it, you know, and just really enjoy this part of Scotland. But as always, guys, tons and tons and tons more videos to come.